These are the faces of the men and women who shut down 93 and brought traffic to a halt. Not the most, most popular people this morning. One group of protesters shut down the northbound lanes in Milton, while the other demonstrated blocking the southbound side in Medford. Now, the protesters in Milton rolled out concrete barrels, put them on the highway, and then they attached themselves to those barrels, while those in Medford formed a human chain and they literally connected themselves with PVC piping. Now, traffic was backed up for miles. Drivers who were just trying to get to work had nowhere to go. And Beth Germano <laughs> is live in Medford tonight. And Beth, we know you spoke with one commuter who was actually the very first driver who was stopped on the southbound side of 93. Well, Paula, she didn't quite make it, and it shows just how risky all this was. She says protesters suddenly lurched onto the highway here right in front of her. It turned the highway into a wall of commuters and has left many questioning the cause. They started screaming, Black Lives Matter. Bringing Carrie Chisholm to a screeching halt on I-93 in Medford as protesters suddenly crossed the highway in front of her car. Did you almost hit them as they came on the highway? Yeah, and there were people in front of me who swerved out of the way because they were walking in front of everybody and people were driving probably 35 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. A human chain that shut down the morning commute. Arms connected through PVC piping. She grabbed her cell phone as her commute turned to an hour plus watching state troopers try to clear them. Was everyone calm in the situation? Um, some of them were kind of fighting back, but for the most part, I think they realized that they kind of lost. But the protesters were hoping to win big on message, staging a simultaneous protest on the highway in Milton, where it took three hours to remove some who had chained their arms through 55-gallon cement barrels, infuriating public safety officials. This is not only immature and not only irresponsible, but the conduct is reckless and it's endangering people's lives in doing this. The group says it was protesting police and state violence against black citizens. 29 hauled into court on a laundry list of charges. But as commutes tripled, sympathy waned. I think that people are going to look at this and say, you know, I don't really want to support a cause where someone's going to, you know, put lives to jeopardy. It's not the right place and time for that, I don't think. I think there's better ways of doing that. Kerry Chisholm caught in the middle. There were people stopping on the other side of the highway that were yelling and screaming and and everybody was angry. And it seems the protesters' plan was to stay on the highway for some time. According to state police, some of them were wearing adult diapers. Reporting live from Medford, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.